Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing the free version of Zone Alarm Antivirus and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. We have 460 samples in total and we will be using these samples to see how well Zone Alarm does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection here in Zone Alarm and we'll let it sit for a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's any samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's any samples remaining after that, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Please note we are up to date. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and enable and we will be back in a few minutes. Several minutes have passed and I haven't noticed anything pop up. Checking our samples folder, we're still at 460, so at this point we'll go ahead and initiate a scan, and we will do a full scan, and we will let this run until it's fully completed. The scan has completed, so we'll go ahead and click on close, and our samples folder still has 460 samples in it. So let's go ahead and scan the samples folder directly. And the scan has completed, and not a single one has been picked up. At this point, we'll go ahead and start execution. I've been making my way down the list and it's removed a grand total of four. Uh, it has popped up several times blocking a few, uh, but it doesn't seem to be removing a whole lot. I have double checked the settings just to make sure there's not something I've missed, something that's not enabled. I'm not seeing any options that would cause this much to be missed. And so rather than proceed through the entire list, we're gonna try one more scan, give it one more shot and see what happens. So let's go back here, we'll run another full scan and we'll let that run until it's fully completed. The second scan has completed and it looks like it might be trying to remove these. So we might actually go ahead and do a computer restart. I restarted the computer, but I failed to notice that the files are actually encrypted. It looks like the samples folder as well. All of the samples have been encrypted, so we've got ransomware on the computer. So at this point, I think we're gonna call this test done. This might be the worst result I've ever seen, uh, but you can take these results and draw your own conclusion. And that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit the join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.